First of all, I'd like to welcome you to the channel, and uh, what I'll do in this video is to guide you through a couple of steps with which you can get your um, basic, uh, you know, boring GNOME distribution look like macOS. So, the first step would be to open a Firefox like this. You can see this, uh, the window has popped up. And I'll leave the links to the websites that I'm right now using on the description in the, of the video. So the first website would be to the uh, gnomelook.org where you'll find white search GTK theme. So what you'll have to do is click on uh, files and click on white search dark and just choose any one method of installing and I'll choose the DL click on the button that says DL and download it. It's 1.17 megabytes probably, yeah. That has successfully been downloaded and after that what you've got to do is to move to the next website that I'm leaving the link off and there is only one file in the file section which has to be downloaded so click on the button that says install and click on install 0.64 megabytes. So that will also be installed in a moment, let's wait, um, it's probably not working, let's click on the DL button, okay, 0 0.64 MB as well, so this has also completed installing, right, next is the icons, Cupertino icons, click on files, click on Cupertino Catalina, or select Cupertino Catalina and click on DL. After you click on DL, just to the button that says download, it'll start the downloading for this file as well. Until the time this file downloads, what you've got to do is open up a new tab and type extensions extensions.gnome.org. Like this, hit enter, and you'll be taken to the page that says extension.gnome.org. Search for extension is something that's written on the search bar, so you gotta click on it and type user themes. So user themes is on the top. It's listed on the top, so click on the button. And after clicking on user themes, what you've gotta do is install it and turn it on like this. After you turn on user themes, what it's gonna do is let you load the cell themes from your user directory so that you would not be limited just to the uh, basic user theme provided by the GNOME distribution. Next one, what you've got to do is open up the uh, search bar again and type blur myself. So I'll show you before and after of blur myself, let's see. So if you click on the cell application button, you will see this. It looks very bad, it looks dirty, it looks black color in background. But with this extension, what we can do is just get this looking beautiful. Let me say to you. Sorry, I'm just taking it up. Text editor. My bad. Okay, so click on the blur my cell icon and download as well as turn it on as well. So after you turn it on, if you click on show applications, what you can see is this. Very beautiful, isn't it? It's blurred. It has a good background and looks beautiful as well. So this is what it does. And the next extension that we want to do, that we want to download, is Compies Alike. It's called Compies Alike Magic Lamp Effect. So let's do a before and after of this as well. So if I minimize this window, like this, can you see the animation? It's looking kind of normal, right? But after installing this and turning this on, when I minimize the window, you will see that the animation has just changed. What is this? It looks beautiful. So, we use this just for this beautiful thing. And after uh, this, the next extension that we want to download is called Alt Tab. After typing Alt Tab, you can see Cover Flow Alt Dash Tab. This open it and I already have it turned on so I'll just turn it off and show you how it looks without this and I'll just turn it on again and show you how it looks with this so let's open an application just to use the alt tab feature okay uh, maybe a terminal yeah like this ls yeah and a file explorer maybe 
okay so if I use alt tab this is why what I can see right but after using this extension and turning it on this is what I see using alt tab isn't this beautiful looks really beautiful so just to get this thing looking so beautiful you have to download the alt tab extension now after you got uh, the extension downloaded as well there's no use of the website so you can close it up and what you can do is open every file that we downloaded in the folder so click on the button and after that you will be taken to this place so let me cut this and put it in a different folder okay new folder let's call it customization and paste it here like this and let's close this Cupertino Catalina has not pasted and Mac OS icons or cursors okay it's cursors and under documents sorry not web page it's for customization and paste it here as well now close this do the same with white or uh, dark and go to documents customization and paste it here as well so extract every file one by one. Let's start with white or dark. So click on the button that says extract. Wait a second until the thing gets extracted. Now I think it has successfully been extracted. Like that. Now what you've got to do is just cut this and paste it in the upper directory. Now there is no use of this folder because this folder had this folder which is really important for us not that folder. So after that you can just remove this so let me delete whites or dark and after that what I'll do is do the same with macOS cursor set.zip I right click and click on extract it'll extract it and after that you don't have to delete any files here it'll just get, give you the file or directory that's important for us so we can delete the macOS cursor set.zip now Cupertino Catalina has to be extracted as well so let's click on the button and see now this file is a little bigger so it will take um, a few more seconds maybe uh, like 30 seconds let's wait now till the time it's it's getting extracted what we want to do is open the directory in a terminal after you open it up in a terminal you can do a thing and that is to list the files in that directory so type ls and let's copy whites are dark so click on copy and uh, click on copy after you click on copy what you've got to do is type sudo mp paste the file name and u slash u s u s r slash share slash c after that hit enter and enter your password so you can see that i entered my password now this file has successfully been moved to the uh, themes directory so after moving this the Cupertino Catalina has also been extracted and let's cut this and bring it to the upper directory because this file had the this folder had the folder that we wanted and now these are the two folders that we want now we don't want this file so we can delete this and let's go with Cupertino Catalina so hit ls once again now right click Cupertino Catalina copy this now what you've got to do is type sudo mv paste the file name slash usr usr share slash icons that's it now after that the folder has successfully been copied to icons now the last folder remaining is macOS cursor set right so hit ls again now copy the file name or folder name and type sudo mv paste the folder name and slash usr slash share slash uh is it cursors yeah so usr slash shares slash cursors so the uh, customization uh, directory is currently empty because we already have assisted them so we can minimize firefox as well let's minimize this and after that what you've got to do is uh, open up the so applications and type tweaks um, sorry my bad tweaks like this and after you click on tweaks 
click on appearance cursor you can see there is no cursor right now we'll see what the problem is after a while but under icons what you can do is click on the drop down and select the icons that we just have downloaded that is Cupertino Catalina now let's wait a second okay we are waiting a second now this is just changing the icons so it may look a bit dirty right now or it may feel like the device has crashed but it's not crashing it's just you know oh sorry it's not Cupertino Catalina probably or is it is it Cupertino Catalina or was it not I have a bit of doubt let's see okay I don't think this one was the uh, folder that we had copied so let's what we want to do is sudo open um, slash usr slash shares icons like this now I think the one that we copied was Cupertino Ventura or had I downloaded Cupertino Catalina okay my bad uh, the file was this folder was not to be downloaded the one we had to download was Cupertino Ventura so let's set the icons to default once again like this now this is getting deleted till then we'll download the uh, folder that we want so go to the Cupertino icons and choose C Cupertino Ventura I mistakenly choose I mistakenly choose the Cupertino Catalina that also works fine but but that's kind of outdated so we want the newer version that looks better so we use this now after waiting a second the download is about to be completed and I think the deleting process is also like half the way after that is completed let's see yeah now it has successfully been completed now as before what we want to do is to extract sorry not extract uh, we want to cut this and go to the documents customization and paste it after pasting this we click on extract button right so after clicking on extract it'll just it'll just start extracting the file okay there's a bit of time left but it's just decreasing so we don't have to worry about it okay if the breathing sound can be heard I'm sorry for that my bad but I'll try not to uh, get it audible from the next time so let's wait till it gets completed 26 megabytes okay 30 megabytes completed okay It's about to be completed. Now let's see if the deleting has been completed. I think it has successfully been completed, so we don't have to look at it again. Now the extraction has completed as well. Okay, beautiful. Now we can open this fi uh, directory in a terminal and let me zoom it up like this and ls. Now after this we would want to cut this and paste it here and now we can delete this these two files or folders whatever you call it let's do this and this now clear the screen now type ls again now copy cupertino ventura now sudo mv cupertino ventura slash usr slash shares share just share and icon paste the password and that's it exit now you can close this as well and restart the tweaks application and after that go to all apps or so applications and go to the search bar and type tweaks after typing tweaks just hit enter now click on appearance we'll not see any cursors right here in the cursors menu I don't know what the problem is we'll be looking at it later on but right now what you want to see is the icons so click on icons and drop down 
so we can see Cupertino Ventura has successfully appeared here so let's click on the button and see how the icons look like okay oh my god these looks these look really beautiful so this is how the icons look so so applications let me show you some other icons look at them they're really beautiful I appreciate this so after that click on sell from default you've got to change it to whites or dark so you can see that the Apple logo has appeared and application places tweaks can be seen in a better way with some blur at the top so next is legacy applications this is the biggest step so please don't miss this click on the button that drops you down and after that just select whites or dark and when you select whites or dark it'll look like this now you're successfully on Mac OS sorry not Mac OS it's no if you show this uh, you know desktop to any anyone who even uses Mac OS or Linux I don't care but they'll probably say that you're using Mac OS but in the reality you're not so let's use a good wallpaper that suits and looks like Mac OS wallpaper so wallpaper or let's go to the display settings or change background now let's select Mac OS wallpaper add pictures wallpaper now where is Mac OS wallpaper it's probably not here so let me download one and just paste it there Mac OS wallpaper okay um, let's download the Ventura wallpaper like this and this is the first one it's 4k after it's loaded let's wait till it loads like that and open Im image in a new tab has been downloaded let us open this up in folder and just cut this and just take it to the customization directory just for this video you can give it anywhere in the video now after that what I'll do is click on add pictures and under documents customization just select this and open after that I can click on this and this looks like Mac OS so I hope you liked the video if you liked the video subscribe to the channel for getting some uh, notifications about the other videos that I'll be posting in the future and I'll see you in the next one until then take care and goodbye thank you